Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm your host, Sterling. Welcome to tonight. I'm your host, Ryan, from the main show, Tempest Radio Podcast, which is a um, quad-hosted show that encapsulates all of our ideas and perspectives as we address various topics. Um, my uh, own show, which everybody has their own personal show, was originally going to be regarding the automotive industry, but as I was developing the show, I kind of came across... Um, something that I'm a little bit more interested in, and that's the people around uh, around us. So I kind of wanted to make a show um, diving in and seeing all the intricacies of the human psyche and how we interact with one another uh, in our society. So I'm joined today by another host from the Tempest Radio podcast who is known to be a little bit more on the quiet side, who I um, have gained quite an interest in when it came to this topic as um, she's very unique and has a interesting perspective on how she approaches uh, the people she interacts with. So I'm joined today by Kylie Hendricks. Go ahead and introduce, introduce yourself briefly. Hey, everybody. I'm, like I, like Sterling said, from the Tempest Radio and Podcast. And I haven't posted anything for a personal story yet, but it's going to be more towards things that, like, obviously I'm interested in, like, supernatural occurrences and just genuine, genuinely things that I'm interested in, so... I got you there. Very interesting stuff. So um, right off the bat, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. So um, while we've been recording the general episodes, we only have a handful out. As of the time of this recording, there may be uh, three or four episodes out, and I highly recommend that you guys go listen to them. They're quite the joy. Uh, we're trying to make them better and better. We're all very new at this, and we're trying to um, grow, and so we, help you, uh, we, we hope you join us uh, as we grow in this experience. Um, but I've noticed that as we're recording episodes that you, uh, excuse me, that you tend to be a little bit more on the quiet side when it comes to things like it's a lot of the time me and Ricky are really bantering or me and Eli are really bantering on our light on our last episode. As of the time of this recording, we, um, talked about, uh, Fortnite and how video games affect our culture, which was an interesting topic, but there was maybe three words you said. Or may, pr maybe more than that, but um, I noticed that you had said little to nothing, so I asked you directly what your thoughts were, just so I could kind of get some, um, kind of get some uh, reaction out of you. And this is no problem. This is no disregard to you. Um, but uh, my question is: w Is there a reason why you're um, less spoken? Like, are you shy? Are you nervous? Do you feel like you don't have anything good to say? What What's holding you back? Um, that is a pretty interesting question. And I feel like it's just always the way I've been because I grew up with an older sister and she was very outgoing and she always spoke out to other people and made it her priority to introduce herself to like uh, adults and just people that we would meet in our day-to-day -day lives and she was never afraid to start a conversation with a complete stranger and I always admired how she did stuff like that but I never could really find it in me to do something like that and the things that she would say was very sophisticated and she would make very good points that I would never even think about to come up with so I would always think that oh, I don't really have anything interesting to say or it's irrelevant to the situation that we're in. So right. I'm more of an introverted person, but I've been trying to like put myself out there more. I just don't really know how to do that. So yet. do you think you're a naturally introverted person or has your sister made you more introverted or has your sister um, actually um, kind of rubbed off on you or not um, you kind of rubbed off your sister in the way that you're starting to come a little bit more out of your shell and start to be the person to engage and start that conversation? Well, me and my sister are very close, so if we were to meet people, she would always introduce me, like, you know what I mean? Just, right. I wouldn't really have to put myself out there because she would really do it for me because she was very defensive whenever people came to me because I would wear my feelings on my shoulders the whole time, right. so any chance that I could get hurt, she would like completely block it off for me because she wanted to like keep me safe. Right. But 
She is now in college, and before she left, she started saying things like, Kylie, put yourself out there. People will love who you are. And so I think in a way, she did start like rubbing off on me. So I have been trying to um, put myself out there to more people. And like, compl- if it's something as simple as like a compliment to another person, it's like a, I feel it's a big step for me as a person to really open up my, myself to the world. So you feel like your sister's extroverted protectedness of you, which is a positive thing, made you more shy in the early stages of your life. Would, am I getting that right? And then after you both kind of grew up a little bit, she was more encouraging of you to um, like get out there and you know make a name for yourself? Yes, because uh, if I'm being completely honest, like... I couldn't order my own food at a restaurant until freshman year because I've always just grown up with my sister kind of being almost like my mom and just almost showing what she saw in me to other people because I couldn't do it. So is like your whole family like your mom and your sister or do you have other family members that are um, a little bit more on the shy side than you or the conservative it's just me it's just you yeah so do you do you see your personality and uh, the way you interact a natural thing that isn't really affected by anything else like it was just how you are like how you were born or do you see events or um, recurrences in your life and in your uh, adolescence that contributes to how you act now um because you, you explained with your sister, but now your sister's almost doing the opposite. Yeah. Well, I feel like where all my shyness came from and just how I'm kind of closed off came from different experiences that I've gone through. Because whenever I was really little, I was just a little bit shy, not too much, but just a little bit. But now as like I've gone through experiences like trust issues and friendships, I feel like I have to kind of keep myself closed off to like a kind of extent to where people almost like won't hurt me in any way. Right. So you use your shyness as kind of a defensive thing. But um, do you see shyness as something negative? Like should people strive to not be shy or like um, or is shyness a like it, it was shyness a bad thing? Like or or is it? not like what how do you what's your stance on how people should interact I feel like there's pros and cons whenever it comes to being shy because some pros might include like oh you may not get your heart broken oh you can do whatever you want you get to focus on you personally like your own person but the cons do come with you don't get to meet somebody that you really wanted to or you can't say what you completely wanted to that person. So then do you think being shy would contribute to someone becoming a narcissist then? Um, A narcissist being someone who's obsessed with themselves. I feel like there could be situations where that could be the case because whenever you are shy and introverted, you kind of just keep to yourself as a person so you right. find yourself you like find things out about yourself that you didn't think really existed and you may not be against that which could make you more confident in yourself as a person but me right. personally that's not my case so where do you hope to see yourself develop like how do you how do you hope to see your character develop as you grow up i am hoping at least towards the end of this semester that I've put myself out to people and I've made them feel comfortable around me because I'm always like thinking in the back of my head, like don't say anything that'll make them uncomfortable or right. else, like they won't talk to you again. But I feel like honestly, I'm just being who I am. So if they don't like me, that's completely fine. Like I'm not seeking for you acceptance. You can't please everybody. Yeah, of course. So I'm just hoping for me as a person to develop into it, a person almost like my sister where I can kind of be like okay to talk with any person like any right. like 
you know, like stereotypical like group of friends. You know right. what I mean? Do you see yourself making good strides? Because I always said like New Year's resolutions, which I think are inherently designed to fail mm-hmm. um, because they're always so ambitious that it, it's just too much for one person and they'll simply dismiss it. But like, do you see yourself making uh, big strides? Because I always set goals for myself like I'm going to go to this, this and this. Like I'm going to go to every football game. But, you know, when push comes to shove, I... I just kind of like tap out like it's, it doesn't yeah I just don't want to yeah um I'm not really sure I mean I will say like okay compliment this person because you like how their hair looks or you like their outfit right but there is always like the possibility that I'll trip over my words or I'll stutter or I'll end up saying the wrong thing whenever I meant something positive that could be taken in a negative way. So it's just really like a 50-50 chance where I'll be able to put myself out there and trying to make that stride, like how you said. Right. So do you think people always, like, do you think people can act on impulse and subconscious behavior? Like, do you think people are really just the way they are, or do you think everybody is thinking in the back of their head exactly what they should say um, to reach a certain outcome. I mean, because that's what social media is. Yeah. Everybody is is manually controlling the information that they put out mm-hmm. in order to present themselves in a certain way. Yeah. Um. Which isn't inherently toxic, but it can be very misleading. Yeah. Because, like, the thing with social media is, and, like, even with text messages, if I say something like a joking word, like, if I just text you, like, I hate you, but I meant it in a joking manner, you right. can't tell what context I'm putting out. Yeah. So you could actually think that I'm, like, mad at you or I'm, like, trying to insult you or something. So it's just a matter on who the person is and what their character is because not everyone is really like programmed to like think before they act right Uh, and i think people i think in situations where you're under a lot of stress or you you know you're in fear or just in the abundance of any given emotion you you do act subconsciously and on impulse Mm -hmm. that that's my thoughts but when you're talking to a cute girl or a cute guy and or you're trying to become friends with this person, you are trying to do everything in your power to look cool. Mm -hmm. And so on that notion, you're simply behaving, um, like you're behaving artificially. Mm -hmm. You're in, you think that's okay. Do you think people like, do you think it, it's perfectly normal for people to act artificially? in order to reach an outcome, either to, like, date a person or become someone's friend? I feel like it's a very common thing, but whenever we try to act, like, artificial, it just really in itself is, like, kind of damaging yourself because if you try to impress somebody, so you, like, try to put yourself out there by trying to impress them with the talent that you know that, you don't necessarily have or you tell them a lie to try to make yourself look cool, it could end up hurting your relationship with that person if they find out. So you think that, do you think it would make it easier to backfire if you acted artificially over just being yourself? No, I think 100% in every situation you should be yourself because really that's who everyone is going to see you as. So it's just a matter of like what situation you're in. Just, I say, try Absolutely. to be 100% yourself. Well, the bell just went off, and I, I hate to cut this short because this is a this is a good little monologue going on. But, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I appreciate you guys taking the time and uh, tuning into this podcast. I think I'm going to continue to um, address these kinds of topics. You may see examples of people throughout history and. I may address something with the the automotive industry, but I did enjoy this segment. And so I thank you for tuning in. And uh, please make sure you're going to be listening to everybody else's personal shows. They're They're quite enjoyable and really cover very broad subjects. 
and make sure you tune into the general show again thank you for watching and heavy